everyone, welcome back to the fourth episode of The Planets. I can't believe it's almost halfway through the series and I'm beyond excited to share more content with all of you. But today, we're going to talk about the fourth movement of The Planets, Jupiter, the bringer of jewelry. As the round-faced cheery uncle of all the planets, Jupiter is impressive and majestic. The swelling brass and the slow whistling strings are met with moments of poignant beauty in the glorious tune now known as I Vow to Thee, My Country. At the beginning of the movement, the string and the brass sounds fit perfectly together, demonstrating Jupiter's strong power through the expression of the music. Right after that, the soft combination of strings and brass create an atmosphere as if Jupiter is slowly approaching the scene. When listening to this movement, the music always motivated me and pushed me to work harder. With that being said, who is Jupiter? Well, in Greek mythology, he was also known as Zeus. After hearing that name, I'm sure most of you would know who he is. And that is right, he was king of the gods and he was also the god of sky and thunder. For the story today, let's talk about the founding of Rome. According to the mythologized history of the founding of Rome, Nemo Pompilius, the second king of Rome, introduced Jupiter to the Romans and established the perimeters of his worship. In the early days of Rome, Jupiter ruled as part of the Archaic Triad, which also includes Mars and Quirinius, the deified version of the today's city's founder, Romulus. As the histories of Livy and Plutarch had it, Numa was facing hardship and coerced into two minor deities, Picus and Faunus, into summoning Jupiter to the Aventine Hill. There, Numa consulted with the Almighty God who issued his demands regarding the offering of sacrifices. In exchange for securing the worship of the Roman people, Jupiter taught Numa how to avoid lightning bolts as per Numa's demand. Jupiter's lightning lesson likely served as a metaphor symbolizing his broader offer of protection and support for the Roman people. Jupiter, in fact, sealed the pact with Numa and the Romans by sending down from the heavens a perfectly fine shield called Ensile, a symbol of protection if ever there were one. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you like my content and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!